Hey YTPC, John Meadows, Soul Patch Piper, coming to you on a rainy Saturday night. It is hot and humid in Atlanta, um, and I am a sweaty mess, so you'll have to forgive my appearance here. I've been working in the garage all day, doing some furniture redos for my wife, and um, just working out here and sweating like a dog. But anyway, I, I did I did want to uh, do my first ever gall drawing today, so this is it. Uh, this isn't obviously live. Uh, I will, this is just done and I'm going to post it as soon as I'm done recording it. Um, so here's what I did for my first ever goal. I'm, I'm a, I topped over 180 subscribers and I think last I looked I was at 183. So if you're a recent subscriber, thank you for your subs. Uh, thank you all of you for subscribing to my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I love giveaways, I love watching them, I love participating in them, and I wanted to do one. So this is my first ever, I'm kind of excited. Um, what I did for this giveaway, just to remind everybody, is that uh, I had a question that I posed that you needed to answer correctly in order to be entered into the drawing. And the question was, what types of pipes did Sherlock Holmes own and smoke? Um, you can find that answer. You can go to Google and find that answer, which I know some of you did because you took the answer right off of Google and copied it and pasted it in the comments, and that's fine. Um, but some of you obviously knew uh, because you like Sherlock Holmes stories, as I do. Um, I've got a great book that my girls gave me. Um, or, or no, maybe my wife gave me. My wife gave me for a present. It's called Sherlock Holmes as a Pipe Smoker. Uh, it's by Thomas Gwinner. This is a really cool book because it, it actually pulls out every single reference uh, of Sherlock Holmes smoking a pipe um, or referring to his pipes or tobacco that are found in his stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. You can get that on Amazon, I do believe. So if you answered the question correctly, you are entered into the drawing. There were many of you who, did who attempted to answer. 17 of you got the answer right. Now, some of you got close. You did two out of the three. Uh, the three types were an old, um, sometimes referred to as oily clay, a cherry wood, and a briar pipe. So those are the three types, clay, cherry wood, and briar. In any particular order, it didn't matter. And again, seven, 17 of you got those right. So here's what I'm giving away. Uh, doing th three place winners, okay? So third place winner, my lovely daughter, Brooklyn, is going to play Vanna White here. So uh, Brooklyn, show them what third place winner is going to, to, going to win. It's, I used to work for Big Green Egg, and this is a really cool uh, cast iron bottle opener. And, and it, it screws right to, let me see that, baby, screws right to a, um, uh, a workbench or an outside grilling table. Uh, it's heavy, so this is going to cost something to, to ship, and that's good. That's all right. Um, uh, just a novelty item. And then the, along with the third place winner is a leather tobacco tray. This is a travel tray that I make. Um, it, it's flat and it fits into like an everyday carry or your glove box or whatever, your backpack, your briefca briefcase. Does anyone carry a briefcase these days? Anyway, you cinch up on the rope and um, it pulls into a nice little tray and you can dry your, your tobacco, you can set your pipe in it, rest, and you can pack your pipe over top of the tobacco. We're getting lightning here. That's cool. So this is third place winner. Okay, second place winner, Brooke, show me that. Okay, second place is 20 plus year old skiff mixture. This came from a um, John B. Hayes tobacconist in Winchester, Virginia. Um, second generation tobacconist, I do believe. And um, I was up there last, when was that? First part of this year and um, and got this. He had he, when he took over the the tobacco shop from his dad. Um, he he found this skiff mixture and he looked in the records and it had been over twenty years since they last ordered it. So this was just sitting around. It wasn't out to be sold. So it is aged. And let me tell you, I've smoked some of this. This is one ounce. That's all I've got left. Uh, it's really good. And um, I really question whether I wanted to give this away, but I am because it's so good. You got to share what's good. And also the second place winner gets what, bro? Oh yeah. These are little leather pipe holders that I made, a little pipe stand, uh, and your pipe sits down in it. It's, it's a great thing to also carry in your um, everyday carry travel. Okay, that's second place winner. All right, third pla um, first place winner, excuse me. Oh, this is the creme de la creme. This is 33-year-old Prince Albert uh, in its original can. 
So this was my wife's grandfather's. They called him Paul, uh, her mother's dad. And Paul was an avid pipe smoker. And uh, this year, uh, I got his pipes. I inherited his pipes. He, he passed away in 1986. And uh, this was probably bought that year. So that's how I'm getting 33 years old. It's at least 33 years old. But um, anyway, her mom, Steph's mom, had this sitting in the drawer along with his pipes. And I've restored his pipes. I'm going to do a VR on that project and show you that uh, soon coming up. But I found this tin, pulled it out, and I'm like, wait a minute, there's something in this thing. I open it, full of tobacco. It had never been opened before. Now, it was dry, so I've taken it out carefully, rehydrated it, and packed it back into the tin. So uh, you actually get the old tin, too. And so that's for first place winner. And what else goes with first place? Oh, yeah, okay. So I wanted to make a tamper for the giveaway. Baby, can you get that for me, please? Thank you. And so I had um, some zebra wood sitting around, not much, just a little chunk of it. And I had made myself a tamper out of it, just carved it with a knife and... I like it, beautiful grain. Um, so this was the piece I had left over. So I made a zebra wood tamper with a uh, copper tamping end on it. And it's got a scoop to get out the dottle. It's weighted nicely. Uh, I really like it. I'm gonna have to make myself one just like this. Um, and I finished it with uh, uh, some linseed oil. Uh, actually, it wasn't pure linseed oil. It had some, some resin with it. it smells good though. Um, but it's safe to use. All right, so that's first place winner. Right, so let's get to this, shall we? Okay. All right, so um, let me pull up the randomizer here. Brooke, can you hand me my pad, please? Okay, so we had 17 people with the correct answer. So the minimum is one, the maximum is 17. Okay, and so the way I wrote your name down here and assigned your number was the order in which you answered the question correctly. Okay, so the first person that did that obviously is number one, and the last person that did that was obviously number 17, and everybody else in the middle according to the time and date that you, uh, you entered it. Okay, so here we go. First winner is, this is third place, this is number seven, Blue Line Piper. Way to go, man. So Blue Line Piper, you get the third place. That's the uh, big green egg bottle opener and the tobacco tray yeah i remember thank you brooke okay second place winner this is for the 20 plus year old skiff mixture and the leather pipe stand that goes to number 12 pipe magic that's m-a-g-i-c-k so congrats on that and drum roll please for first place <laughs> first place winner goes to Hey, number three, it's Onion, 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Way to go, Onion. Um, I know you don't really like the uh, Prince Albert you told me, and I actually gave you a little sample of mine, but you won a whole tin of this stuff, uh, as well as the tamper. So congrats to all the winners. Thanks, guys, for playing along. I appreciate it. Um, as soon as I get this done, I'm going to post this up without any editing. Thank you, Brooklyn, for helping me out. Thank you, Vanna White. Way to go. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon, okay? Take care. God bless you all. Bye. And if you like my dad's videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And give this video a big thumbs up and comment, comment down below. <laughs>